turn first to that debate over recreational marijuana. A Colorado Springs City Council member is set to propose a charter amendment that would officially ban recreational marijuana shops in the city for good. Just two years ago, voters shot down a proposal to make recreational shops legal here. But another one is in the works. CARDIO 13's Tyler Cunnington spoke with that council member behind the proposal. Tyler, what is she arguing tonight? Yeah, Bart Heather, the president pro tem of Spring City Council will present two proposals this coming Monday. One would give voters the choice to ban recreational pot shops permanently in the city, while the other would put strict zoning restrictions into place just in case recreational shops are ever allowed in the future. Lynette Crow Iverson, president pro tem of Colorado Springs City Council, is proposing a ballot measure and a new city ordinance this Monday. I just felt this is the right time to do this. That ballot measure, which must be voted on by the council, would give voters the power to ban recreational marijuana stores from ever being established in city limits. Look at Portland, look at Denver, look at these cities that have had legalized marijuana, legalized drugs. In 2022, voters in the city shot down a proposal to allow recreational pot in the Springs about 55% to 45%. But Crow Iverson says those efforts are coming around again. Cardio 13 has learned just over 16,000 signatures have been accepted by the city clerk for a pro recreational pot ballot measure. But that group now has just three weeks to get 8,800 more. You know, even though they haven't cured their signatures, they may or may not. We just we just wanted to get this ball rolling. That's where the second measure comes in. Iverson Crow says if voters opt to legalize recreational marijuana, she wants a new city ordinance that would require those shops to be a minimum of one mile away, as measured on foot, from any school, daycare, or addiction and rehab facility. Connor Springs has an opportunity to take a proactive stance in protecting its youth and vulnerable populations by enhancing this regulation. Now, two parties who are pro recreational pot were unable or declined to provide comment today for the story. Meanwhile, Iverson Crow is confident the council will pass her two proposals, saying she has the support of at least four others on council, if not more. Reporting live in our newsroom, Tyler Cunnington, Cardio 13.